Organized labor in Adamawa State has appealed to Governor Amadu Omar Fintiri to implement the national minimum wage of 32,000 naira for the benefit of the third tier government workers. The Adamawa State Chairman of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Emmanuel Fashi, clarifies that the government pays the minimum wage at state levels, but primary school teachers, primary health care workers, and traditional council workers have not been accorded the same rights. Speaking on behalf of workers in the state, Fashe also asked the government to address the issue of the gross shortage of nurses and midwives in the health facilities across Adamoa. I wish to passionately appeal to your excellency because we know at the end of the day there are local governments that may not be able to foot the new wage bill. It is in this guise that we, excellency, we appeal to you as your children and in line with your policy of inclusiveness to come to the aid of these local governments through intervention or through augmentation, as the case may be, Your Excellency, so that all of us can feel that we have equal rights as your children. Those in the local government and those in the state will feel equal. As it is now, those in the local governments are feeling somehow we go to the same market, Your Excellency, our children go to the same school, we go to the same hospital, and uh, the possession power of that person at the lower or that decided to serve his immediate community, that is the local government. On his part, Governor Fintiri said that his administration has restored the dignity of workers by introducing promotion examinations for civil servants to reward hardworking, diligent and dedicated workers. Since our return as a substantive government in 2019, we have ensured that the civil service has been assured a pride of place as the centerpiece of our 11 point agenda. In our bid to reverse the sad story of the civil service and restore its dignity, this government has introduced promotion examinations for civil servants from grade level 8 upward, including prospective permanent secretaries. Today, it is no longer whom you know, but competence that determines which position you occupy in the civil service. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.